Well, hello and welcome again to River Valley Farm. Mm, yes, helper in tow again today. Um, so I've got this bale chute or extension from my Super 66 New Holland that I had. And uh, well, yes, we're gonna put it on there. Or we're gonna see if it'll fit, I guess we should say, because I don't think we're gonna put it on for keeps just yet, because this field over here, we're just gonna bale it and drop it on the ground. And then the good field, we're gonna bale it and hopefully stack it straight on the wagon. Um, I would do this one, but I think it's too tight to go around and around with the- Wagon. Yes, can I talk? Okay then, thank you. Um, it's too tight to go around with the wagon, I'm pretty sure. That and it's a little steep in places, so we don't wanna do all that. But anyway, um, just gonna do a test fit here, make sure it fits. And then I'm probably gonna have to go kick over the windrows again here after a bit and whatnot. Um, if you wonder why I look wet, well, we just took that off of here and put it over there. That's a good morning workout if anybody needed one. And uh, yeah, so let's see. Oh yeah, you wanted to hold that, didn't you? Okay then. It's a little heavy, right? Eh, it's not too bad. You know, if you'd hold that still, it would help. I told you I had to do bolts. Yeah, I gotta do bolts. But not. Mm, that one's kind of snug yet. Kind of snug yet. Mm hmm. Luckily, you had a wrench. Well, I need another wrench or something. Get the right one. Not yet. Mm, yay. Maybe this one. Oop. Okay. There. Good lord. Okay, so uh, it does bolt on. Um, obviously we're gonna have to chain it. yeah we got to chain it up but we're gonna have to raise up this section a little bit pull it up a link or two and then figure out what we're gonna do with the chains for the other piece because it's got to come up and be above the wagon so it'll clear right mm. okay then so next step we need to pull up the short piece of chute and then rig up the long piece of chute Right? Yeah, and he was having some difficulties. Well, I wasn't having any difficulties. But then not, then. not nearly as many difficulties as you were holding the camera. Uh, uh, very uh, funny. Yeah. All right, so that's pretty much it. Of course, we'll need to do a little fine tuning on it once we get to the field with it like this. Mm -hmm. And this is not going to be a permanent setup because, well, yeah, it's not going to be a permanent setup at all. Um, <laughs> you know, a lot of people that do that have nice flat fields with space in them, which this one, I don't know, we might be able to get away with it, but I don't think it's going to make enough bales to really worry about. <sighs> and then this one over here, there's just no way. I could not stack, yeah, we could not bale and stack on this field, I don't think, at the same time. Um... And most of mine are just too tight or too steep. So, but anyway, that bottom down there, we can do that on. I have a customer who wants that. So we'll just bail it and load it right on the wagon. It'll work out good. Well, we just got done checking the hay again. And as I thought, heck on it. Yeah, that's better. <clears throat> This one just needs to be rolled over. 
and that I think I'm just gonna tet it out and let it rot. Um, that is the Roundup Ready Alpha Alpha. And this is the third time it's been basically a write-off after I've mowed it and put it, uh, you know, had, yeah, after I've been ready to bale it. Um, first cutting, we made out all right on it. Second cutting, we got it. And this time it's just rotted down there in the field. Um, I don't know if it has to do with, the, you know, the fact that it doesn't get much afternoon sun or what, but... It's just not a very good field, apparently. So, I don't know really what to do with it. Um, other than that, it does, it does, you know, if you could smell it, you'd understand, I guess. But it's not good anymore. So, uh, gonna have to try and do something different there. And I've got groundhogs in it anyway. So, uh, yeah. Time for a different idea. I'm not real sure what yet, but it's time for a different idea. Okay, so uh, a little development here, and a big thank you to Rank One Rank One for mentioning this in a comment on yesterday's video. Um, gauge wheel on the pickup. I completely spaced it. It was all the way up. It was in this hole. It was literally the bottom of the tire was about even with the bottom of the pickup guard there. So, um, thanks for being uh, intelligent and paying more attention than I did because that was that's a simple fix. <laughs> That'll keep the pickup teeth out of the ground and still let me pick up the hay. So yeah, excellent idea. Hi.
Okay then. So we are put to bed, finally. Um, we're really gonna have to do something about the drawbar situation. Um, I mean, you can see here, you know, hell, there's half inch or better. Probably closer to three quarters of an inch right there. So it's slopping side to side plus back and forth and that's just not working but anyway otherwise the thing's pretty flawless and if you're just bailing on the ground that that really doesn't matter other than it jars the tractor around all over the place so we have a hundred and two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen 18, 20, 1, 22, 24, 25, 26, 126 bales, 128. There's two more down there that I threw out that were way too wet to even bother with. So that's that. Um, hopefully my horse hay guy shows up in the next week like he said he was going to and then We'll get rid of it. <sighs> Thanks for watching River Valley Farm, and I'll be back with other stuff to do, like carburetors.